Peace, 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 peace. It's return of the Gnostic. Return of the Gnostic, man. <clears throat> I've been gone for a little minute. I've been chilling. You dig? But to get right into it, um, I wanna, I wanna take it back for a second. I wanna take it back. And um, last year, uh, I wanna say, around this time last year, around this time last year, um, I, I made a video, but I never posted the video, and I end up posting the video, um, I believe, early this summer. And in that video, I talked about how um, tuning in to the brother Ampu, um, he talked about how Pluto and Saturn um, was going to be in alignment with each other, and it only happens every 30 years. And he talked about that when these when these two planets align and when this when this conjunctions happen that it's always some sort of revolution it deals it deals with a revolutionary concept now i know a lot of people don't believe in astrology um but my experiences with astrology is that it's real but it's just maybe not real in some instances that a lot of people perpetuate them to be. But nevertheless, um, there is some significance um, taking place uh, in our solar system that's affecting us here. So... Um, So with that being said is that first of all let me go back to giving uh to give giving the brother his props and schooling me and making me aware of this. He he only I far as I far as I know, he's the only person um that spoke on it. He made references to another guy, I don't know his name, but I did find a video. Um he's an astrologer. Um, probably a famous astrologer and um, well I won't even say famous I don't I don't think famous astrologer but he's a really good astrologer and he explained what's going on with the Saturn and the Pluto so this was last year all right and he talked about it one time if I'm not mistaken, he never brought it up again. I never heard anybody speak on it. And so I kind of had a good idea uh, what was going to be taking place in 2020. Had an idea, you know, just, just had an idea. So 2020 comes along. And bam, everything hits. Uh, the prophecy is looking very real indeed. Um, and it's just almost mind blowing. So I ain't got that much time. Yeah, so so it's almost mind blowing. So I gotta I gotta try to uh, pack this up real nice and real good real quick, cause my battery is like on some other other. So what I'm trying to say is that what's taking place right now, um, it's written in the sky. And it's just a cycle of life. Um, and, you know, it's just, <clears throat> it just is what it is. You dig what I'm saying? It's just, it is what it is. Um, 
the most learned of men ever study the heavens let's just put it like that study the heavens all right the most thoroughest thinkers and geniuses studied the heavens all right so we just gonna leave that there we gonna move right along so um me and my amateur uh astrological observances you know i make my little um observances and I seen something taking place in August. You never know what it could really be from my understanding, but you would know that something is um, probable in the Pacific Rim. And um, I was off a little bit, and where I made the mistake was trying to attach a date. Um, trying to attach the date, and when I said that something was going to happen, but these things did happen. But the only mistake I made was trying to attach a date. But the date was just the date was only to point me in the right direction. You see, so, you know, a lot of people don't believe in astrology. Um, I don't think astrology is what some people may, um, may push it to be. But like I said, if you look at it from the perspective of what's going on in the heavens, has an effect, what's taking place here on earth, then I think you can at least see it in a different light. You know, I don't really look, I don't look at, I don't look at astrology in, in a corny way. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to get into that. I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, so with the world going crazy, look like we living in the last days. We just entered an Aquarius uh, or we, we're moving into Aquarius. Nobody really knows. Um, and anytime you move into a new age, something big always happens. So it's, I mean, so it's a, it's a lot, it's a lot on the table right now. You know what I'm saying? Just from the, from, from the astrological, uh, spiritual science. So the best thing that you could be doing right now right is what's the best word I can use for this is rising high on a spiritual level and I'm gonna give you a general um, just a, a, a generalized instruction how this takes place. But first of all, the seed has to be in you. See, everybody don't have the seed, right? And this is, this is just what's going on in the world today. Everybody doesn't have the seed, a life. So, eating a clean diet. Fruits and vegetables, herbs from the earth, all right, and the vegetables of the sea. These things are going to upgrade your frequency and it upgrades 
you know, your body. Knowledge, searching for knowledge, wanting to gain knowledge, in a, in a perpetual search for knowledge. You know, everybody have different fields of interest. You know, following your heart and searching and continuing that journey. You know, um, continuing that journey for knowledge. Being true to yourself and listening to yourself. Because only you know what's best for you. You dig? You see, it's all about you. It's all about you. You have the answers for you. You know, um, I had put this in some music too. But I had realized, like, for a long time, you know, I was searching in teachers what I really needed to find inside of myself. You know, you have the answers. You know what's best for you. You see? And so really what's going on right now and everything that's going on right now and I'ma just pack it up and I'ma sum it up. Everything that's going on right now is to suspend uh is to us uh, um, suppress your higher self, your spiritual knowledge, your inner God. Your inner God is at attack right now. It's a spiritual war. You know, spiritual wars, spiritual wars are played out physically. But it's a, it's a spiritual world, war. The attack is on your inner God. It's on your divinity. The attack is on your divinity. On your mind. Listen. On TV. On internet. It's things that's being said right now just to put the thought in your mind. Just to plant the seed. It's crazy right now. You gotta be woke. See, you gotta be really, really woke to know this stuff. You dig what I'm saying? You gotta be really, really woke to know this stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy magic going on right now. Crazy magic going on right now. But you gotta be woke to see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to repeat it, then I'm going to move on. Because I ain't got that long. I don't want this to die on me. They say something. Any type of word or any type of phrase can be said anywhere at any time on any type of platform. Out of just out of left field. But by them saying this, it plants a seed. And somewhere in somebody, that seed gonna grow and manifest. All right, so let me move forward. So this is all about suppressing your inner God. This is all about suppressing your divinity. And this is all about you remembering who you are. You remembering who you are is throwing 
a monkey wrench and all type of ish. It's throwing a monkey wrench and all type of ish. And if you don't, and if you don't be wise, and if you don't stay on your guard, and if you don't stay on your toes, they will say something slick, right? And they, uh, um, they'll fool you and knock your pieces off the chessboard and have you sitting up looking stupid and you don't know what happened. Because you got it 